Godolphin Racing's Frosted has been retired to stud following his sixth place finish behind Arrowgate in Saturday's Breeders' Cup Classic at Santa Anita. Winner of the Met Handicap earlier this year by more than 14 lengths, Frosted is a son of Tappet. He also won the Grade 1 Whitney Stakes at Saratoga. As a three-year-old, he won the Grade 1 Wood Memorial and the Grade 2 Pennsylvania Derby. Frosted will stand for 50,000 live foal at Darley in 2017. Another horse retired coming out of the Breeders' Cup is Tamar Coos, Shadwell Stables. Winner of the Grade 1 Dirt Mile, Tamar Coos, a son of Spitestown, has won 8 of 20 lifetime starts. He'll stand for 12,500 in the 2017 breeding season. The first of the mares in full to 2015 Triple Crown winner, American Pharaoh, are scheduled to be sold tonight at the Fasig Tipton November sale in Lexington, Kentucky. That sale gets underway at 5 p.m. There's three mares cataloged to the sale in full to American Pharaoh, including Hip 62, Maybelline, a stakes winning daughter of Looking at Lucky. Maybelline was trained by Bob Baffert, the trainer of American Pharaoh, and Looking at Lucky. American Pharaoh covered 208 mares in his first year at stud at Coolmore's Ashford Stud in Kentucky. Coolmore just announced stud fees for 2017. American Pharaoh has gone from 200,000 live foal to a private treaty stud fee. One of the major changes for Coolmore's stud fee roster for 2017 is Uncle Mo. Last year's leading freshman sire will double from 75,000 live foal to 150,000 live foal for the 2017 breeding season. Uncle Mo got off to a sensational start last year. He's the sire of the 2016 Kentucky Derby winner Nyquist, the son of Indian Charlie entered stud in 2012 for a stud fee of $35,000. Uncle Mo covered 253 mares earlier this year. Stellar Wind, who was entered to be sold in the Keeneland November breeding stock sale, has been scratched from the sale. She will return to training in 2017 for trainer John Sadler. Sadler tells the Daily Racing Forum, the last year's three-year-old champion, Philly, came out of the Breeders' Cup in good shape. She'll get some time off, recoup, and point for a 2017 campaign. That's going to do it for the News Minute. We'll see you next time.